marathon in Mark? 3.46. Amazing. So thank you very much. Next we have one of the many business supporters of Families for Children, Mr. Jerry Bolt from 365 Promotions. Our next business supporter has nominated Families for Children as the Charity of the Year for the A30A Club and has also been a great support to me personally, Mr Chris Robillard. Thank you Chris. He continues to support Families for Children in very, very many ways. Next we have Ashgrove Kitchens of Crediton. Ashgrove Kitchens supported Families for Children by doing a mail drop and um, bringing potential adopters to Families for Children. So thank you very much, Andy. <laughs> Next we have Lisa Prismal from AB Well and Print. Thank you for all your support, Lisa. We, we now go on to a very special one. This is for the Michael Keynes restaurant, and Michael has sent his general manager, Julian Wilkinson, to receive it on his behalf. <laughs> Thank you, Julian. And as, as many of you know, Michael's um, a brilliant patron to Families for Children. He's not able to be here with us this evening, but he has sent along a signed apron, which we will get you to bid on later. We now go on to um, Mr. Jim Thompson from Southwest Colour Laboratories Limited. Oh, hi. Hello. Thank you. Yes. Jim can do amazing things and boast that he can print anything on anything, and he's the one. <laughs> and he's the one who's printed the wonderful certificates. <laughs> And now we have a very special person who's got a great link with Families for Children, Mr. Robert Howell. Robert has been doing Cast a Fly for Families for Children. There are some leaflets at the back and I'm sure he'll tell you more about it. And I'll let you into a little secret. Robert sent me off to a tabletop sale to sell some of his fly fishing gear and I didn't sell anything. So he's the expert. <laughs> Now we move on to some, so again, some very special people who've helped Families for Children tremendously in the past year. MGV Productions. We've got John and Gavin. And it's thanks to John and Gavin that we're being filmed here this evening. And they produced the wonderful uh, Families for Children DVD. There are copies, again, available at the back. Please pick it up and pass it on. Talking about the DVD leads me on to talk about some of the very special adopters that we had take part in it for us. And we're very lucky to have some of them with here with us this evening. Can the Kelman family come down, please? One <laughs> well, very special little girl who was not camera shy on the DVD. <laughs> she wasn't shy in the ladies' loo talking to me just now. Came in and went, hello, you. And another wonderful family who took part in the DVD for us are the Mildred family. <laughs> Now we are missing two sisters who are not here with us this evening. They're sticking with the sharks. Sticking with the sharks. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> but thank you so much. And also, I must just mention that uh, this wonderful family also took part in making a two-minute DVD for us to help us win a Charity of the Year award, which is going to mean £60,000 for families for children over two years. Fantastic. Now, another great business supporter of Families for Children is the Elnashar Dental Surgery, based over in Newton Abbott. Amazing people, every year holding the Elnashar ball and raising lots of money for us. Thank you very much, Elnashar. And I do believe that Hassan has a very special message for us tonight. Uh, we accept a cheque for 2,600. Wow. Uh, uh, so if you need any dental work, you know where to go. <laughs> Now this one is, is very close to my heart, very special one. This is for my daughter, Emily Colton. <laughs> Emily gives up many hours for me face painting and helping out at events. And she does it all without complaining, apart from asking for a new pair of jeans. <laughs> 
and that leads me on to her boyfriend, Mr. Tom Page. <laughs> now, Tom also assists with the face painting and can usually be found dressed as a tiger, and he wouldn't do it this evening. We now have Mr. Peter Francis coming up, who's going to accept a certificate on behalf of St. Peter, St. Paul and St. Thomas Church in Bavi Tracy. The church there support families for children in very many ways, but especially with helping us for children to attend the Falcon Christian Camps every year. As I say, the church supports us greatly, but Peter in particular is a great help and is always willing to come along help out at Families for Children events and to do anything for us. He's recently been collecting up with the extra chiefs for us. So thank you, Peter. We now have Mr. Dave Lacey of the Formula One experience. Dave has recently come to help Families for Children and is shortly going to be in Princess Hay with us um, for the Christmas light switch on. And if you fancy having your photograph taken in a genuine Formula One car, come on down. <laughs> We next have a lady called Claire Green, who's here accepting the award on behalf of her um, employer, Mr John Casson. Last year, John organised an amazing fundraising dinner for us at Gidley Park with Mr Simon Weston. So thank you, Claire. <laughs> next on my list is Mr Humphrey Ray. During the summer, on his break from uni, Humphrey undertook an amazing event for Families for Children and we're going to hand him the mic so he can tell you a little bit about it. And just bear in mind that he raised nearly £10,000 for us. Hi. <laughs> um, basically, me and a friend at New from Newcastle University uh, decided in January that we wanted to try and bike from Curry to Cape Town, most bike, not cycle, not that fit. Um, but and uh, it took us 94 days, it was about 9,800 miles, and one crash. And, but he actually didn't fall off, funnily enough. Uh, <laughs> I didn't crash. Um, but yeah, and it was, it was great fun. Um, I probably won't be doing it again anytime soon. Um, but I got, got my bike back, and that's why I was late tonight, actually. I couldn't see anything through the rain. Um, but yeah, no, it, was, it was great fun. Really glad we raised all this money, and we raised another. Seven hundred pounds a day at Island Motors in Bartsville, and hopefully, we've got a few more fundraising events in the next in December actually. Um, but yeah, that was brilliant. <laughs> Thanks very much. You've already heard from our next two tonight. Roll with dice, Jazz and Nels, who performed the wonderful adoption song "My World." I was just really impressed with the speed at this, the, the, which is, with which this two work from the morning to the evening. Amazing. And on to another performer who's, who's performed for us tonight, Mr. Tom Gloins. Sorry, I'm losing my words now. The Spanish guitarist. <laughs> at Families for Children, all our social workers are special, and I think any of you who have worked alongside them will know that. But we do have one very, very special social worker with us this year. We have Mr. Eric Marriott, who has, who has won the Reed UK Social Worker of the Year for childcare. We have the best social worker. Well done, Eric. And on to the, another of our performers this evening, Mr. Josh Frost. I think that's a young man we're going to be seeing a lot more of. Now on to another of our business partners, Woods Estate Agents. Now, do we have somebody from Woods here? Do we not? Oh, that's such a shame. No, so Woods, um, they have the Woody Bear, which many of you might have seen at um, the picnic that they organised for us in the summer. And, and Woody Bear, no, that isn't a Woody Bear, but we do have some Woody Bears, Judy. The, the little one is a Woody Bear. And actually, they've also sent along a little Woody Bear for every other, each of the children who are here this evening. So make sure you come and see me and collect your Woody. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> 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 no, 
Now, Families for Children, one of the things we like to do is to get ourselves noticed. And last year, we managed to do this with a world record attempt for the most amount of people taking part in a three-legged race simultaneously. <laughs> so thank you very much to Creeley Adventure Park for helping us with this. Now, my final three people I'm going to ask to all come up together because they all did something together. They all took part in a skydive for Families for Children earlier in the year. Amazingly brave people. Can I have Jeannie Honey, Kate Allen, and Alec Poor, please? Some amazingly brave people. And if anybody else fancies having a go, we're going to be doing it all again next year.